So I'm going to go ahead and play a game on the new Apple TV. It is called Pico Rally. It was a really stupid game. It plays at one button. I'm actually going to play it with uh, a controller. Even though it plays at one button, I'm turning the music off to uh, make it easier on your ears because the PVR rocket tends to record the audio of the game too loud and make it really hard to hear the mic. Here's the idea. That yellow guy right there, that's me. You press the gas button and you go. You release the gas button to slow down. It sounds easy, but it's not. Every time you crash into the wall, you lose time. You crash into the first thing, you lose time. So you lose speed. So it's all about working out a balance of performance and not crashing. Now, the cool thing about this game is you can play it with multiplayer, and all you need is a couple of iPhones. Even an iPad. Whoever uh, has an iPhone or an iPad, just have them go to the App Store and download this game for free. And their phone basically becomes a picture of a gas pedal and they're added to the game. So to play with you, all they do is pick up their phone and they tap on their screen and off they go. So I did really shitty. Let's try an easier level. Here we go. This is a slightly easier track, so I can get away with it a little more. So you see that right there? That's what you want. I'm going to kind of cruise through those turns. The green bar, I believe, is my previous lap. You can see I'm not pinning the gas, and I'm still doing better. And we're going to lose that one. There you go. That's first place right there. Two stars. The green bar might have been the best uh, lap I'd ever done on that particular track. And now it's playing commercial for what looks like Ash vs. the Evil Dead, which is an absolutely fantastic show, and I just skipped it. Let's go ahead and try for a three-star. No, let's try for a two-star on the baloney track. Here goes. Let me get past these guys gently without crashing into them too much. The speed loss is negligible and small, but it does affect your time and it's real. And not just hold the gas and win. Sometimes it feels like you can. Like, the game would benefit from an analog button when you're choosing the A button. Because it's made to imitate you know, tapping the screen. Of course, screen now has a big touch. Oh, two star. I'll take that. So that's an increase. Anyway, um, this is Pico Rally. It's super cool. I don't know what I just did. I wanted to go, oh, awesome. Sorry, I'm using my SteelSeries Nimbus controller and I'm not used to how it works just yet. I'm just using the triggers to go between the worlds. So that's really nice. This is the only track I haven't done yet, so let's try it. Oh god, is this one? This is one I demonstrated when we first started. I just failed miserably. That straight away is how you want to pass. Don't even bother on turns. Just take your time. Just those turns with the gas. Top of it there. There you go. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. I'd love to see my running timer on my previous lap. I'm not asking too much to get to a game that's free. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> oh, three star. You see, I've unlocked Route 66. So I've unlocked the new route. It was going to give me an ad again, and it let me skip it right away. That's, that's super cool. I'm guessing they're going to pay a dollar or something and not get ads at all, but it hasn't asked me, and it's letting me skip ads, so that's a winner. Anyway, uh, Pico Rally, awesome game. Plays great with the Steel Series Nimbus. Again, all you do is press a button, so it hardly matters. Next time up, we're going to play Agent A, one of my favorite Apple TV games. Later.